Virgo, hi. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, it's your first time with us. I'm your host, Tina, us, me and the cards. I'm your host, Tina, and welcome to my channel. We are doing your weekly tarot. This one is for March 22nd to the 28th. Now, if you are new, we pull two layers here. I'm gonna jump straight into the reading, get into your first layer now. However, if you'd like to just skip these few seconds and jump straight to the reading, there's a timestamp down below in the description. Click it, it'll bring you straight to it. All right, Virgo, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Let's see what's happening for you this week. March 22nd to the 28th, we'll stop here. Hello, your energy right out, the hermit. The hermit. Heavy thoughts, heavy thoughts, considering new beginnings here, aren't we? Um, yeah, but the feeling stuck, heavy thoughts here. Um, recent past and overall energy. Recent past, we have the two of pentacles. Overall energy is the two of swords, right? Feeling stuck, maybe blocking your emotions, or you know, for some of you, not seeing what's right in front of you. Two of pentacles is back and forth, right? Um, you got like something here that you wanna take a chance on, right? You want to take a chance but you don't want to be naive and you don't want to be foolish here um, and so you're really just like it's difficult for you to choose you're at this crossroads right at this crossroads or it feels like you're at this crossroads i'm not saying you are but it, it certainly feels like that and you're like which path do i want to walk which path is truer to me and so just kind of you know trying to trying to really be open to changes, being open to what you're feeling and thinking and processing it, right? That's that's what's happening this week. The current energy is the hermit, ruled by you, Virgo. You know, it's a card of um, soul searching, but it's like, it's also decompressing because thoughts have been so heavy and you've come a long way now, right? You've, you've, you've overcome, you've climbed some mountain in the recent past, right, spiritually. You've gone through something that was difficult, that was heavy, and that you could even use the word overcome, right? You've triumphed, you've made it. But with that, with this journey, it, it brought on a lot of experience, right? Which brings on a lot of thoughts, and you're just like, you're overwhelmed by so much. And so the hermit is like, is decompressing all these thoughts, right? Because they're just swirling around in your mind, and it's taking some space now, separating yourself. And really making sense of everything, making sense of the journey you've been on, where you've come from, the connections, from the choices you've made that shaped your life, right? All of that. Um, but soul searching, looking for some answer within. Not outside of you. You're not looking for a spiritual guide or a teacher or a guru. You're kind of do, doing the inner work and looking within to find your answer, to find the light, to, to find what things mean and where do you go next in the challenge position now we have the seven of pentacles i just feel like you feel like some of your hard work here hasn't been paying off and that's probably what's connected to this crossroads that's the seven of pentacles reevaluating um you might even be making direction change with something here that you've poured a lot of energy into right you're just like you know what i think it's time that i pull back all my energy all my resource resources all my time and I say, hey, this is not worth it anymore. And I hate to say worth it, but it is, you know? You realize how valuable your time and energy are and you wanna put it in the places that are beneficial, that will give something back to you in a way. Where's your mind at, what you're focused on? We have the five of swords. I mean, maybe some of you had a fight and a falling out with somebody and you're just, you're really thinking about that. The five of swords is also open dishonor, right? Like it's letting ends justify means, doing what I have to do to get what I want. It doesn't matter at any cost. Um, maybe you're even thinking about, like for some of you, were there lies you were telling yourself in the past, right? Um, and that could definitely be the case. Your approach here is the fool. Um, you know, we're going to go in and clarify, but I really feel like you're starting to embrace some idea of a new beginning right now, a new journey for yourself. Maybe you're starting to think that like, you know, nothing's written in stone. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new chance um, for a new beginning to start new, to start fresh, right? Um, not even thinking about what people might think of you, right? Like not even caring. That's the fool. Um, 
feeling like a kid again, feeling lighthearted again, having trust and faith in the universe again. Really interesting. In your environment, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. You know, it can be another Earth sign. First of all, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is, um, she's beautiful energy. First of all, she's a queen, right? So there's maturity anytime you hit the queens and kings. Um, but she's also the working mom archetype. So this is just like a very nurturing energy that's in the environment. Um, it's also a call for self-care and self-love because she represents that, the queen of pentacles. But you take care of yourself, you know, through exercise, through eating well, to having a healthy work-life balance, right? Um, and that's how you show other people that you love them too, right? It's taking the time to take care of them, show them your love through actions, acts of service. All very beautiful, supportive, nurturing, committed, and dedicated energy in your um, environment. Coming towards you, we got temperance. Can be a Sagittarius. Um, but I do feel for most of you, temperance is really just about like, it's you stepping into this like, after doing some soul searching, right? After spending time alone with your thoughts, I feel like you come out really having a deeper understanding of yourself, of the situation, of life. And with temperance is about being patient, right? You get to this place where you're like, hey, I can be patient. I need to avoid extremes here. We need to make either blend some qualities here, mix some stuff up here, right? Um, find the right balance is really what's coming towards you. But really beautiful energy. Um, Temperance is that card of patience, of moderation, of balance. Really great energy. All right, let's go in and pull the second layer and go a little bit deeper. Let's see what's happening for you. But yeah, soul searching to make this decision to choose this path. What path will you walk, you know? And you're really going deep within. Like I said, even considering for some of you where there are lies you were telling yourself. Because we... We all, we never stop, right? It's just that sometimes we're not conscious of it. And it's only with time do we realize like, no, I don't know why I was saying that to myself. Or sometimes you can connect. Like you do know why you were saying that to yourself. All right. Wow. The lovers came out. We're going to take it. Yeah. Only further indicating the crossroads and the direction change and the pivot, right? We have the two of pentacles, the lovers, and the two of swords. So... Ah, we got the Seven of Swords here. Something's come out. Something has come out here. Um, yeah. It's like you've been trying to avoid a kind of disaster, right? You've been trying to... It feels like avoid something from falling apart here. But let me mention, we have the lovers and the devil here, which is the inverse lovers. One is about ultimately, yeah, it's about love. It's about relationships. That's without a doubt. But it's ultimately a card about choice and that choice being guided by our higher self, making healthy choices. The devil also a card of choice, but it represents the unhealthy choices we make. And they're certainly not guided by our higher self, right? Devil's ruled by Capricorn. Um, Capricorn rules the 10th house. Status, right? Who we are, what do we have? What will other people think? How do other people perceive us? Um, so it's really interesting. Sorry, I love the tarot and I love the cards. Recent past, we have the tower with the two of pentacles. That's kind of where I'm feeling like We've been trying to avoid some kind of destruction or disaster here or some foundation here from just falling apart. Maybe, you know, maybe it did come down and that put you in this indecision. It, it's, it's causing something here. It's causing you, you know that you need to react. You know that you need to respond, right? That's what the tower does. It shakes up our world. Even if it's our internal world, it can be our outside world, but it shakes up our world and it, it puts us in this position where what we thought was is no longer right something here it, it space has been made and now you got to make a decision what are we going to fill this space with you know um it, it just put you in this position to make a decision right this tower again for some of you you were avoiding it others of you something did happen did come crumbling down and now it's like 
but I feel like you're trying to keep the balance, right? But that, that line is so thin that easily, the moment you let go, it all falls apart, right? And that's not how strong foundations work. You know, um, they're not easily shaken. They're sturdy, they're solid, they're secure. Overall energy, clarifying the Two of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles. I think you're just, you know, I, I, I feel there's maturity on your end, especially with the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles are here. We do also have a, um, what do they call those? Like Divine Partnership, and the Lovers is here as well. Um, but either way, feeling stuck, again, not loving the changes that might be coming or the decision that you have to make. Um, but remaining committed, remaining stable, and thinking of stability, thinking of security, especially with where you're coming from. Now, current situation, current energy. These cards for me just say it all. We got the lovers and the hermit. Boom. Soul searching about what are you going to choose. Even when it comes to this relationship, do you go deeper? Do you stay more committed? Or is it time to walk away? And only you from going within, that's what the hermit says. Will you know the answer? Will you know the truth? And with that two of swords, I always find that we, we know. We're just avoiding it. We're just scared of it. We just know that once we start walking that path, everything changes and it's not easy. I think we've all been there at some point in our lives, you know. Um, but the lovers is about like, just like the opposite of the devil, listening to the voice within not being guided by temptation or silly surface level things, following your heart. In the challenge position, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, which already are challenging cards, right? Um, again, you're just asking yourself if, you're, if, if what's worth still putting your energy into, reevaluating things, and the Seven of Swords is like saying, hey, it's also kind of still looking back at the past, right? Um, that Seven of Swords is like literally looking behind them, as they move away, right? Um, cutting your losses, keeping it moving, and knowing where it's worth to put your energy. Clarifying the Five of Swords with where you're focused at, we did get the sun. So I feel like something is just, it's come to light, especially with that tower. I just feel like light has been shed on something um, and you don't like it, right? You, you don't like what just happened. You don't like what you see. You don't like the position that you're in or that you have to, the choice that you have to take here. Um, but again, I just feel like the sun is shedding light on things, right? You're just seeing things clearer. Again, whether it's um, people's open dishonor, whether it's people letting ends justify means, whether it's you who's been lying to yourself, right? Whatever it is, it's coming to light, right? And it's, um, it's really you also thinking about a bright new day, a bright new chapter here. Now your approach, we have another five. We have the five of wands here. So you're conflicted, right? Um, Other people may not agree with you with the, the, the direction you want to go in with the fool energy. But again, I feel like you're just preparing yourself. <sighs> but you're still conflicted. You're preparing yourself for some new journey. I think you know what decision you want to take already. But I think it's not an easy decision to take. I think you question if you're being a fool here. Are you being naive here? Um, but, the, you know, it's number zero. So I feel like you're just like, you're getting prepared getting prepared to embark on this journey in your environment um, we have the queen of pentacles we also have the devil right so you could definitely be dealing with a capricorn here um, and so there's that light's been shed here right light's been shed so what does that mean that there is light where there once wasn't right where there was once darkness and the devil represents like our shadow sides, right? Um, and so there's light here that you're knowing what's been toxic, what may have been negative, what may have not been a healthy choice. What with time is just may be getting worse or maybe having a stronger hold on you. Um, where, where are these invisible chains? And so that's the light that's being shed on it. And so it's, you know, once the light's shed on it, you can't unsee what you see. And that's the beauty of it. Um, the devil just asks us to take a look at areas in our life that might have a control over us or that might not be good for us 
Um, and with time, you can just see the impact being more negative. It may not have been as obvious maybe five years ago, but like now you're starting to see the connections more and seeing the chains more, right? And when you see that, you kind of gain power over it. So I actually really like seeing this card because the devil's always present. And so when it's on the spread, it just means we're putting light on it. I say it and I keep saying it because all of these energies, right? They're going to resurface in ways and we circle back to things. And yeah, we deal with them in a different way, but it's, it's always the same kind of energies over and over, right? Fear, love guilt shame pride all the same same songs aren't they coming towards you we got temperance and we got the moon here can be a pisces can be a sagittarius any one of these can be coming towards you um i just feel like especially with temperance being paired with the moon you're gonna if if the moon energy is approaching you and you're like damn i really can't trust what i'm thinking i really can't trust my own thoughts what is truly my voice? What's my ego with the moon? The moon is tricky energy. It's fear of the unknown. It's the opposite of the sun where things are not lit. And so when things are not lit and you can't see things so clearly as when the sun is out, you don't know what to trust. You don't know what's real, right? And so it's about learning that sometimes the monsters, the worst ones are just made up in our heads, right? Um, it's about trusting the process and trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, finding the light here. And with temperance, I think that's going to be possible. I think you're going to be able to take a middle path here even as you navigate this dark night, right? Um, and I just think, again, you come out with a deeper understanding because you've been doing some soul searching here and you're like, I think I take a middle path, right? Because there's these like crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. And you might find a way to make it work for you somewhere in the middle, really with temperance coming your way. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you. Of course, I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If anything does resonate, then comment, like, subscribe. Anyone, all three would be appreciated. As always, thank you, and I will see you all next week.